New at 10, a Huntsville City School parent shared his concerns with us today. It's about the education his children are getting during the coronavirus pandemic and the impact of the ransomware attack. Way 31's Bridget Divers was at tonight's school board meeting. She also learned about a possible supplemental pay plan for educators during this difficult time. It's been a bit of a challenge. Um, Primarily, it's the schedule and encouraging our kids to be self-driven when they're at home. Zane Hall has three kids in Huntsville City Schools. He is concerned that his children are not getting the education they need for the future, especially after the cybersecurity attack. Well, what I do know is that it put a stop to many things. You know, what I think what educators, teachers, uh, staff, faculty realize is that all their tools that they were using and that the kids were using became you know, it was pulled out from under them. Superintendent Christy Finley says the school district is focused on the teachers and students. When we were presented with this cyber threat, immediately, you know, our attention goes to our teachers and our students. Um, but just as we've dealt with any other challenge in our district, we see this as just another challenge that we have to deal with. And at the end of the day, we do what we do. We teach our students. The district recognizes that teachers and staff are working harder than ever before. That's why the school board shared a plan tonight to give all employees supplemental pay of $500 for the extra work they have put in this year. We're very grateful for the educators that we have in Huntsville. Parents told me they appreciate everything teachers have done for the students. In Huntsville, Bridget Divers, We 31 News. The supp supplemental pay plan would cost up to $1.5 million. The Huntsville City School Board of Education will vote on that plan at the next meeting. That's on December 17th.